we're, we're obviously uh, excited to be in the final and uh, competing for a national championship. Uh, my hats off to UNBC. They're a very, very good team. Uh, played exceptionally well tonight. Uh, I do think we got our tactics right tonight um, and uh, executed the game plan and uh, put ourselves in a, in a good situation to compete for the <coughs> Well, uh, I remember it was like the pass back to the center back, and I knew it was close enough to take it away from him. He had a bus in the back touch, I took it from him, I saw Darius wide open, I gave it to him, and Darius did great in the center. Darius, can you um, just picking, piggybacking off of what he said, um, he made a great defensive play, and uh, I felt as though I was in a great position to make a run. And Pablo sent me the ball, and you know I took a good touch and just put it, just put it in the back of the net. How did that getting that in the goal? Your team is very familiar with the team. How do you think that changed the game? Um, I mean, I think it changed the outlook tremendously. I think it did wonders for us because you know defensive. I mean, we're always defensively first. And, um, I mean, it allowed us to, you know, sit back and relax, you know, get that early goal and just focus on our tactics more. Uh, where were you trying to go with that shot? Did it look like it was deflected? Um, I was trying to go back post. So it was high or it looked like trying to elevate it a little bit? Maybe it got dipped there? Yeah, I actually tried to elevate it a little bit and, you know, took a, took a deflection and still win. Yeah, what's the season like for you? Uh, oh yeah, it was a big load off my shoulders. Uh, the season's actually been pretty rough for me. Uh, you know, coming in, you know, I was really focused and really excited for the season, and you know, spraining my ankle in the first preseason game. You know, it was um, it was a shocker, and you know, it hurt. But you know, George is always telling me just keep focusing and just keep working hard, and you know, it'll happen. And it took a while, but you know, it eventually happened. Um, Paulo and Fernandez, you know, really, really good center backs, really physical and really strong. Um, and I was just trying to, you know, hold the ball up and connect with my teammates and uh, bring us up the field more. And, you know, if I had the opportunity to, you know, move, move the ball up the field, then, you know, I did that. But I always tried to, you know, hold the ball up and get my team involved in the play. Uh, no, but we did know that they hadn't let up a goal in the tournament. Somewhat, yes. Um, I thought they played out pretty well, potentially for us. Um, our guys have been pretty good uh, in the playoffs on set pieces and defending them. Um, I, I only had to come for like one or two of them, I can't remember. Um, but we, we did really well on, on clearing those out the first time and then getting the second, the ball, second ball out, yeah. Anything else for the student athletes? Questions for Coach? We knew he would only, he wouldn't play much today. I was thinking 20 to 25 minutes at the most. He hasn't played three weeks. You know? um, and it, was, it was a timely you know, winning one nothing, bringing a guy like him on the field uh, to help us to shut it down. You know? um, so I think you know, and the other piece is going into Sunday, he'll be fresh. You know, he'll be fresh. I don't think he'll be able to play nine minutes, but 
you know, in an associated for game, I would imagine he didn't play more than the 15 minutes he played, uh, he played here. Um, it was, he going to start the game? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so, but um, he was, he's a great guy to, to bring it off the bench. So who do you want to use <coughs> yeah, I, I think somebody threw a specific at me that they, they crossed the ball a lot because they had to. Um, and I, you know, not many worried me because they crossed it. Uh, and I think that's why they got to the corner. In the corner, he's got a little, couple of them that are hairy, especially in the first half. I think the second half, he dealt with them much better. You know, the corners so the corners were coming as a result of the crosses. So I was trying to clear them and stuff like that. Right? And, um, you know, statistically speaking, you know, it's, if you got a team that's committed to defending like we were, uh, and you're crossing the ball all the time, I like our odds. You know, it's, it's, you know the way it is. So, um, we, we did a very, very good job of feeling with that. I thought we had a great opportunity to get the second goal in the, in the, in the second half of the ice the game. Um, and uh, the game plan was just, just the way we got our chances is exactly how, how we thought we would. Um, we happened to execute very early uh, on one of them. I think we had a scratch a chance of two to score a second one in, in the first 15 minutes, too. Not quite as good as the, the second chance uh, in, the, in the second half, but the way those chances came were exactly how I thought and kind of what we were working on. Did you know, I, I, I don't... You know, Pablo picked that ball off, so the way the way we asked these guys to play with is their instinct. So if, if we were for, far enough up the field and the ball turned over and we could quickly get it back before we kind of got settled in defensively, do it. And, and his instincts were spot on. If we were close enough, we were far enough up the field and it paid off. I mean, we picked him off one pass and we got him. Uh, but that was a great job. We've uh, answered a lot of questions about this game struggling for yeah, I mean, you, you can start with Cali, who's, who's been you know, good all year, but exceptional in, in the playoffs. Um, um, you know, our center backs have been great, our full backs have been great, uh, but I, I think it's a team mentality, too, you know, uh, a team mentality of uh, not conceding. I mean, it's just it's very, very resolute in and making sure, and especially, um, let's see, because Notre Dame, we had to close that game out and scored with nine minutes left, right? This game, we had to close this game out. Uh, in these situations, you know, the dials get cranked up and things get heated and the ball, more balls are coming in, and we've been able to, against some pretty good team, close, close things out. So it seems like a very serious season to play by the last couple of months. Yeah, I, I thought it was the best game for us, and, and so kind of, and not just because of the goal. Um, he, he, that's not an easy job, what, what he was doing, you know, not just scoring the goal, but holding balls, the ground he had to cover, and he was uh, a lot of outlet most of the time, you know, to be able to find it, which means a lot of running, a lot of work, and physically holding off the center back, so he did great there. But, and like you said, it's kind of tough for him because he turned his ankle pretty bad, uh, literally the 16th of August, second or third day of preseason, and it, it really put him out there. You know, he was back playing six or seven weeks, but he was really, really out for eight or nine I mean, in terms of being, um, getting back to the fitness and form. When he came back into our team, you know, we were playing a, a little bit differently with a little bit of different mentality, which also made it tough for him. Um, but uh, it took the perfect time to have a great game, and I hope he got one more left in him. Looks like, I mean, the Lakes might have a 97 final. Do you feel it? Yeah, I have a lot of memories of that one. Um, we actually, the first goal that they scored, um, <laughs> not sure if he's my assistant coach right now, we'll remember that very well. I think the ball got taken off him, and he, at that time we were playing with a super. And uh, I don't know how much time it was left, but he <coughs> the ball and got taken off him, and they counted, and, and scored out. That was a game that I thought we should have won in the first half. We played great in the first half, it was 0-0, didn't score, and took too many chances down the stretch, and, uh, and, and they scored on us. But I feel like every time we play, we should have a super talented team. Um, you know, an that, that game, the way you guys played, I really think <coughs> dominating that game, but most of the game, you know, pretty good for Grand Ford. That changed, like, how you the first game in Kansas City in Pasadena. Uh, are you talking about UMBC? No, no, no. Did you feel like you had back in the day? Yeah. Have you evolved in terms of change? Have you said that? Listen, I, I, I'm such a better coach now than I was back then. I, I can't tell you what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 19 years ago. Um, yeah, no, no question.
because I got to watch this game, and I, I certainly don't want to. I think I made a reference to maybe you should have better about the play UCLA. No, not at all. I've seen some physical uh, problems, and uh, that's going to be a great game. I mean, whoever we're playing that, that championship is going to be very good. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Yeah. One more for Coach, so maybe not. Yeah, but sometimes I was doing this long enough, I mean, sometimes you have a great read, you think you're in a great spot, and it doesn't work out so well. I mean, I, I thought they were great, and I said to my coaches in the locker room today, I thought they were in a great you know, moves here, but I've had teams that they look completely flat in there, and then show up and they grim. <laughs> so it's not always a thing, but what I'll say is our form, right, in, in the, the month of this postseason, has been just like that. That's been, that's been how we've been playing, you know, that, that, the, the form that we're playing and, and how we're playing, um, and, you know, I expect that to, and hope that that continues. Have you altered any of your routines from last year? Routine. No, I, I don't think. I mean, last year we tomorrow we went home. Right. Yeah. We lost, so. <laughs> so this this is this is a big a big step for us. Um, it wasn't that long ago that I was here five years ago that we, we, we won here. Um, so uh, then it, a lot of ACC tournaments where you run things like day off in between. So it helps us get over that. Thank you, coach. Thank you.